I've been trying to do show bits for a really, really long time. I've been trying for so many months, not consistently, but if I had a dollar for every show it that I have attempted, I would have a ton of dollars. I could probably buy myself a car. But the reason I want to talk about show bits is like, yeah, I've been trying to do them for a while and I feel like I need to kind of go about it with a different strategy, with a better strategy, trying new techniques and just being more consistent for sure. I feel like that um, will help me. I've tried to do them quite a bit this week. I think at least two or three sessions I've tried to do them. And I feel like with each session, I do see a little bit of progress and I'm kind of like, okay, I'm getting a little closer. I'm getting a little better. I'm kind of getting there. Um, so that's really exciting. I think the hardest thing for me with shove is I keep thinking I'm never gonna land them. You know, like that's something I've heard so many skaters say, which really actually surprised me is that a lot of skateboarding is a mental game and that like if you don't think you can do it you're not going to be able to do it like you really have to be like i can do it i'm gonna land this trick i'm gonna get it that's something i didn't really ever expect i just thought well if you practice hard enough you'll be able to do it you know i never thought of it as like it could be a mental block that stops you rather than like a physical block and that's hard like with a physical thing, it's like, okay, I'm gonna try to kick my foot in a different direction. Okay, I'm gonna try to work on this. It's a little easier to fix that. Not always, because I am so bad with like coordination and stuff. So even the physical like tweaks are hard for me because it's hard for me to like see the little tiny differences of like flicking your foot straight back or flicking it to one little angle. But with a mental block, that's something that is really hard to like overcome. You know, because if you are faced with failure, over and over and over and over and over and over and over again like you're just gonna be like i'm not gonna be able to do it like i'm gonna fail again what's the point of trying again like i'm gonna fail again i think that might be the biggest obstacle i have with my shepherds is this whole mental block of me just thinking i'm never gonna get this trick yeah i've just tried so many times and i've failed so many times that my brain and myself starts to believe I'm always gonna fail this. I'm never gonna get this. I've tried to like, you know, get out of that mindset. Um, there was something, I searched on Reddit, like, you know, need help with shove and try to see like what other people have done. And um, someone said to, to think when you're doing it, flick and land. And so um, that person was saying like, by saying that like over and over again, when they were attempting the trick, that helped to eliminate their fear and just like focus on landing the trick and just focus like, Instead of thinking, I'm not gonna land it, just focusing on flick, land, flick, land, like those two words. Um, so I've tried that and I think it helps a little <laughs> bit, um, but obviously I still haven't been able to do it. I'm gonna try to keep using that strategy. I think that um, it's smart because yeah, you're just focusing on those two actions and words, but it's still really, really hard to like believe that you can do it and really commit and honestly believe that you're not gonna like fall because that's like i think a huge thing for me is that i think of like everything that could go wrong so i'm thinking like if i try to land i'm gonna fall on my face or i'm gonna fall on my elbows i'm gonna you know fall on my wrists and break something and it's honestly a huge fear mine is just like getting hurt i have a low pain tolerance like i hate getting hurt so that is a big thing is that it's like especially like even just thinking about it now when i think of like trying to land with both my feet i'm like i'm gonna fall i'm gonna lose my balance i'm gonna get so hurt trying to get over that is honestly like a huge challenge for me but i'm gonna try to work on it try to be consistent not think about it um i'll probably i think what will help is wearing like knee pads wrist guards like more protection stuff that'll help me because i'll be like okay if i do fall you know i'll be less likely to be severely injured because I'm wearing protective gear. And that's kind of where I'm at. I'm trying to learn show bits. Really, really want to learn them. They look so cool. And I feel like landing them will be the most satisfying thing ever. I don't know why, but like this week I really was just like, I want to learn this. Like I've been trying to learn this for so long and I want to finally do it. Um, so yeah, I am like really like obsessed. I'm consumed. I want to learn this trick very badly okay so what i think is really interesting is with life you can make a lot of analogies to things um so with skateboarding and random i'm gonna this is gonna be random but like with pool and stuff i've been able to like make analogies to other things in my life yeah i, I don't know i think it's interesting how like a problem in one area of your life can teach you about 
solving a problem in a different area um, or just like teach you like lessons I think that's so cool I was playing pool and I'm not the best uh, I'm trying to get better you know I don't I still don't know like the way I like to hold the pool stick but one thing I really realized was that if you focus so much on missing your likelihood of missing is so much greater because you're focusing on messing up whereas if you focus on getting the pool ball in or if you just focus on um, doing your best trusting yourself and having confidence your likelihood of making the pool ball in the shot is a lot higher so that was kind of something interesting i was thinking like in real life like if you focus so much on messing up like with shovets if i focus so much on i'm gonna fail this trick i'm gonna fail this trick the likelihood of me failing this trick is a lot greater Whereas if I focus on just trusting myself, having confidence, and focusing on getting it and like landing it, my likelihood of that happening supposedly is greater. I don't know, that's just a really cool analogy that I kind of stumbled upon while playing pool. And then with Shevitz, what I've kind of realized is the whole thing of like, if it's pretty much the same lesson of like like if you really start saying to yourself over and over again like i'm never gonna land it i'm never gonna make it i'm never gonna do this i'm never gonna um achieve this you're gonna start to believe that and it's going to hinder your progress a lot and just like you're gonna stay stuck but i've related it to some situations in my life of like if i focus so much on like thinking this is never gonna happen for me this is never gonna happen for me like the likelihood of it never happening is greater if i'm only focused on like the negative and being like pessimistic whereas like if i trust if i trust myself i trust god they just trust him and being like this will happen this will eventually happen for me like let go don't worry about it just trust god the likelihood of that happening will be greater so yeah i think the moral of this story is trust is a virtue and it's a virtue that's really worth practicing and um growing what i've realized for myself is that the more that I trust God, the more that I see him, which has been really nice. Cause yeah, I mean, with God, it's like, that's the, well, he's not a dude, but like, that's the dude that you should be trusting the most. Like he literally knows everything. Like he's God, you know, it, I don't know. It's just like, if, if you're gonna trust anything, if you're gonna trust anyone, like, at least for me, like God, you know, that's something that I think it's interesting how it's like, literally god like he just wants the best for you and he loves you he loves me you know um that you would think oh because of that because of all these things it, it would make it so easy to just trust him but it's obviously not that easy it's hard and it's something you have to practice it's not something like okay today i'm gonna trust him for you know it's like every day you have to choose every day you have to choose um, I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust, I'm gonna trust. But I have been doing that more, which is great. Yeah, I, I just really like that saying of like, when I trust him more, I see him more. Well, that is my theology talk of the day. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's the end of this video. If I do post this, I hope that you enjoyed it <laughs> or you enjoyed some parts of it. Maybe you related to some of the lessons, life lessons that I was talking about, hopefully helped you in some way or made you feel like oh wow like i've experienced that too other than that um i feel like i should kind of like update i feel like so much has changed and i haven't shown you guys it, it's i don't know it's kind of crazy i'm in college i'm a freshman film and television production student here at loyola marymount university school of film and television and it's been so amazing like i could not have asked for like a better freshman year or i mean it's not even over but like i couldn't have asked for like a better start to college and like i just feel like i really chose the right place i met such amazing people here you know who you are like just amazing people and it's been so fun like i think that's actually something really interesting with uh with college or just with my experience is that i didn't realize like how much i could like really really thrive in college and how much i really could like like it and like meeting new people and, and how good it could be like i i don't know I, I didn't really realize that yeah it's just such a huge contrast from like my high school um experience which i wonder if i'll ever talk about that in a video because it was not the best experience i mean some really great friends there obviously and like you guys know who you are and you guys are awesome i'm so glad i met you guys but yeah moral of the story college has been really great and I just feel really happy and really thankful. Yeah, so that's my little life update. So yeah, I am a film student. I've got a vlog about that. Living in LA, um, across from home, because I am from the East Coast. 
yeah, there's a lot of things that I want to talk about, whatever. So hopefully I will film those, post them, and you guys will see more of me. I actually need to end this video now, so I'll see you guys next week.